we be worried? No. <laughs> well, because the numbers keep shifting. Well, well because, do. all right, so you, uh, in, in your opener, you noted that it was recently discovered, just back in December. Right. That's just a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And when you just discover something, how much of its orbit do you actually have? It's only a tiny segment of the total orbit that it enjoys around the sun. And so from that, we want to then extrapolate into the future, okay. and that comes with uncertainties. And so with uncertainty comes a percent chance of the risk. But as the days get closer, as you get more of a baseline of data, mm -hmm. that uncertainty will do one of two things. It'll go to 100% mm. or to zero. Mm. It's not going to hang out in the middle zones. Oh. And what it's, what's been happening is it, in the last 36 hours, it dropped from 3% down to... 0.28%. So should we be concerned if it starts to go up? It won't likely go up once it's trending down. Oh, okay. Oh, it won't nice. likely go up unless, okay. some, unless something out there nudges it. That we so you say <laughs> that this is a good time for us to redouble our efforts to put what you're calling an asteroid defense system into place. Yes, because uh, even though it won't likely hit us, mm -hmm. why not use it as this is a universe sending a shot across our bow, alerting us, hey, these things are real. They could do damage. Why don't you prepare to do something about it? Mm. Because I, I don't want to be the laughing stock of the galaxy as being the only intelligent species with a space program that did not prevent its own extinction. Because mm. you know if the dinosaurs had NASA, they would have deflected that asteroid and they'd be here <laughs> instead of us.